This is the uh, BNK model 747 solid state dynamic mutual conductance tube tester. Um, this one is in a very nice physical condition. I've had it for a while. Uh, when I bought it, it had a meter issue, which it still has. It, it appears to be working, but it has an issue, and I'm not a technician, so I'm just going to sell it as, as the way I got it. But it does appear to work. Uh, I'm testing a 12AX7 tube here that is uh, known to be good. It's not the strongest tube, but it is a, a still a good tube. And uh, so I'll show you the settings down below here. Uh, shows the settings down here for the 12AX7, which we have. We have the heater set for uh, 12. Oops, heater set for 12. Sensitivity for 89. Goes in socket 29, which it is. And I have these uh, levers all according. So what the tester does is doesn't matter if you have a tube in it or not. When you turn the power on, which I'll show you, the meter swings over. <laughs> and it's not supposed to do that. It's supposed to be sitting at zero. I don't know why it is. I haven't looked into it. I wouldn't know where to look, but that's what it does. Now I'll show you that as you, as you press the test button here, you can see it's going up. I don't, you, you don't want to hold the, the buttons down. But uh, when I first uh, turned the tester on, there was no reading at all because the tube hadn't warmed up yet. But now that it's partially warmed up, you can see that the tube is into the good section. Uh, when it was cold, it was uh, down in the, uh, you know, on zero when I pressed the button. But uh, so it, it does appear to be testing the tube, but it's, the meter should be zero when you're not testing. And then we'll go ahead and do the second set real quick here to show you how this thing works. So the second setting is uh, everything's the same. Uh, heater is uh, the same. Uh, the sensitivity socket, of course, is the same. But the these are different. So um, we need to turn off the uh, F, the E, and the C. And then A and B are fine. But then we have to put uh, the next one in F, E, C. So uh, 6, I believe. I have this right? Yeah, 6 is F. So go down here, put 6 in F. And then this one in E. And this one in C. There it is. I believe I have that correct. So we'll go ahead and try. Now this would be test button uh, number two one also is it yes it is okay so then there's the second test and you can see it's a little stronger on this side <laughs> that's with uh, without pushing the button <laughs> which with pushing the button the tube tests oh, i'll try that again there we go well it's, it's it's good it's definitely a good tube and i've tested it on my other tube tester so um i've done some other tubes and they do about the same thing so the tester does have an issue needs to be repaired uh, selling it as is, but it's in fairly nice physical condition. I'll, uh, you'll see the photos, but that's how these things work. Um, and again, the meter is supposed to be reading at zero right now, but uh, in fact, I can make it read zero real quickly if I just simply turn it off. Amazing. The B&K model 747 solid state dynamic mutual conductance tube tester.